Imagine that you sit down to meditate and you look into your mind and you ask, what is the mind doing? And you might discover that the mind is thinking. Maybe you're replaying a show that you recently watched, or maybe you're humming a little tune in your mind. Maybe you're thinking about a meeting that might happen in the future, or worrying about something that you said yesterday and how it might have been heard by your friend. Maybe there are thoughts of past or future, rumination or judgment, planning or restless agitation. Just notice what are the kinds of thoughts that are arising in your mind. What's important now is that we not only recognize the kind of thoughts, but we ask ourselves, what are we doing? Other than thinking, how are we responding to those thoughts? Sometimes meditators just berate themselves, condemning themselves for thinking during meditation. Sometimes meditators just indulge the thoughts and fuel them and get involved with them and get further lost in thoughts. Sometimes people say, huh, I'm not going to bother to meditate now. It's not a good time. Maybe I'll do it later. And they get up and quit. What do you do? when you realize that your mind is lost in thought. In the Middle Link Discourses, Sutta number 20, The Removal of Distracting Thoughts, we find a sequence of five strategies that the Buddha guides us through step by step, one by one. These strategies are used when we find that our attention and thoughts are drawn into scenarios and thoughts that tend to be rooted in either greed, in hatred, or in delusion. They are classically unwholesome thoughts. They're the kind of thoughts that create discontent in our lives. I think restlessness is one of the most persistent hindrances that meditators face. Even those who are quite adept at concentration still find those deluded thoughts arising in their minds. The difference is that one who is adept at concentration rather than a beginner at concentration is that the adept meditator has developed skills for working with this restless mind. So that when restlessness arises, they don't go jumping on that train of thought. They work with the energy and the experience of restlessness and counter it fairly quickly.